you need to factorize 2x square plus 14x plus 24. We have learned how to factorize expressions of the form x square plus something into x plus something. In this case, the coefficient of x square is 1. But here, the coefficient of x square is not 1. So does it mean that we cannot factorize it using this? Well, are you forgetting something? You are forgetting the first rule of factorization. We try to find out what is common in all the terms of the expression and take that out as common. So here, 2 is a common factor of all the three terms of this expression. So we can write it as 2 into x square plus 7x plus 12. So we have taken 2 as 2 as the common factor from this expression. So 2 into x square plus 7x plus 12. Now this is in the form of x square plus something into x plus something and we try and factorize it using the method which we had learned earlier. What was that? We need to find two numbers such that their product is equal to 12 and their sum is equal to 7. So let us do that. Now we know 12 is equal to 12 into 1 but 12 plus 1 is 13 which is not equal to 7. 12 is equal to 6 into 2. Their sum is 8 which is not equal to 7. 12 is equal to 4 into 3. Their sum is 7. So we have got the two numbers as 4 and 3. Because 4 into 3 is 12 and 4 plus 3 is 7. So we can now write this expression as 2 into x square plus 4x plus 3x plus 12. So this is what we have now factorized by grouping. We take these two terms. They have x common. We write it as x plus 4. In these two terms, we have 3 common. So it can be written as 3 into x plus 4. Now, in these two groups, x plus 4 is the common factor. And don't forget this 2 here. So we write it as x plus 4 into x plus 3. So 2 into x plus 4 into x plus 3. This is the factorized form of this expression. 2 is a factor, x plus 4 is a factor and x plus 3 is a factor of this expression. Now consider this expression. 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. So can we take 6 common from here? Well no. Because 6 is not a factor of these two terms. So we cannot take 6 common. Then how do we factorize expressions of this form? Notice that it is also in the form of something into x square plus something into x plus something. So we follow a method similar to what we had learned earlier. Compare this expression to ax square plus bx plus c. So this is the general form of all such expressions where a is the coefficient of x square, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term. So this is the general form. If I compare it to this expression, a is equal to 6, b is equal to negative 7 and c is equal to 2. So here A is 6, B is negative 7 and C is equal to 2. Now we need to find two numbers P and Q such that P plus Q is equal to B and P into Q is equal to A into C. So the sum of those two numbers should be equal to the coefficient of middle term and the product of those two numbers should be equal to the product of the last term and the coefficient of the first term. 
So we need to find two numbers P and Q such that B is equal to P plus Q, A into C is equal to P into Q. Note that earlier A was equal to 1. When the coefficient of X square was 1, then A was equal to 1 and we followed the same procedure. We found two numbers such that their sum is equal to the coefficient of middle term and product is equal to the last term. So if A is 1, we'll have C is equal to PQ. If A is not equal to 1, it will give us A into C is equal to P into Q. So it is essentially the same process. So now let us try and solve this. P plus Q is equal to negative 7 and P into Q is A into C which is 6 into 2 here which is 12. So we need to find P and Q from this. Now since the sum of two numbers is negative and their product is positive then what will be what can you say about the sign of those two numbers a positive product can be obtained either by multiplying two positive numbers or by multiplying two negative numbers fine now if you add two positive numbers you get a positive number if you add two negative numbers you get a negative number we require a negative number here so we want two negative numbers whose product is 12. So let us consider negative 1 into negative 12. Negative 1 into negative 12 gives us 12. But their sum is negative 13 which is not equal to sev negative 7. Negative 2 into negative 6. It gives us 12. But their sum is negative 8 which is again not equal to negative 7. Negative 3 into negative 4 gives us 12. What is negative 3 plus negative 4? It is negative 7. So these are the required numbers. So now in this we write negative 7x as negative 3x minus 4x. So this can be written as 6x square minus 3x minus 4x plus 2. So let us factorize by grouping. Consider these two and these two. From these two, we can take 3x common. So take 3x as common. Now 3x into 2x gives us 6x square. So 3x into 2x is 6x square. We take 2x inside the bracket. 3x into negative 1 gives us negative 3x. So we write a negative 1 here. Now consider these two. 2 is the common factor of these. But if we take 2, we'll have a negative 2x inside the bracket. Whereas we require a 2x. So what we do? We write negative 2 here. And then we get 2x minus 1. So 2x minus 1 is the common factor in the two groups. So take 2x minus 1 as the common factor in the two groups and then we have 3x minus 2 as the second factor. So this is the factorized form of this expression. So factorize 3x square plus 20x minus 7. So we need to factorize this. In order to factorize it, we need to find two numbers P and Q such that P plus Q is equal to 20 which is the coefficient of the middle term and P into Q is equal to 3 into negative 7 which is negative 21. So we need to find two numbers whose product is negative 21. Now, if two numbers have a negative product, this means one of them is negative and the other is positive. It has to be the case. So, one is a positive number and the other is a negative number. Now, the sum of those two numbers is positive. 
So what can you say about those two numbers from this? We can say that if a number is positive and the other number is negative, then the sum of those two numbers will be positive if the higher of them is positive. So now we have restricted the factors of negative 21 which we need to consider. So which factor should we consider? First, there should be a negative factor and a positive factor. So we should write negative 1 into 21 because the higher factor has to be positive because we require a positive sum. So we do not need to consider 1 into negative 21. We consider negative 1 into 21. Now let's add it. Negative 1 plus 21. Negative 1 plus 21 is 20. Which is what we require. So the two required numbers are negative 1 and 21. Now we split the middle term using these two numbers. So we write 3x square. 20x can be written as minus x plus 21x. Minus x plus 21x. Minus 7. Minus 7. Now we group these two and group these two. So 3x square and x have x as the common factor. We have 3x minus 1. 21x and negative 7 have 7 as the common factor. So we have 3x minus 1 here. Now 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1 is the common factor. So we write 3x minus 1 and x plus 7. This is the factorized form of this expression. 3x minus 1 into x plus 7 is the factorized form of this expression. You can multiply it and verify that you will get the same expression.